hi guys welcome back to my channel so valentine's day is approaching and i am completely alone this year um but it's all right um but usually you know during valentine's day you see so many couples especially on social media and instagram especially with these cute pictures they're traveling all over they're getting the cutest gifts proposals and it makes it really easy to kind of feel lonely and bored especially if you don't have anyone or if you're single but you know according to some internet research i've done there are approximately like 125 million single people in the united states alone so i'm pretty sure not all 125 million people are sitting at home sad sulking about not having anyone to spend valentine's day with so i figured why not i just do some activities by myself so i'm looking online and what i noticed many of the articles say is first thing to do is either get yourself some flowers some gifts basically make yourself like a little valentine's day goodie bag from yourself to yourself so yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna head to the store and make one so see you guys when i get there myself a cute little valentine's day like gift bag and i'm just gonna include a few things that i like i love chocolate i love little cute stuff i love little cards so that's exactly what i'm gonna do right now so now i'm downstairs where all the valentine's day cards are and i'm going to pick myself a nice cute little card i don't know if they have any cards that would be for yourself these are mostly for other people I like this one. There's no one else like you. You are a special kind of amazing. Happy Valentine's Day. Because the world is a nicer place with sweet girls like you in it. Well, I got my chocolate and I got my Valentine's Day card. So I'm going to see if I can get myself maybe one more item and a bag and then assemble it. Alright guys, I just left Walgreens. Next thing on the list, it says um, one good thing to do is actually go shopping and get a cute outfit for yourself i go to maybe some clothing stores and probably get like a cute little like valentine's day outfit so i can take pictures on valentine's day of myself so that's where i'm heading right now i don't know which store yet but when i'm at a store i'll let you know it's raining and i don't want to get my camera wet so i'll see you there like this coat like these like teddy bear kind of coats but what always stopped me from buying them is how exactly do you wash them i feel like after one wash the material would be ruined if anyone has this how do you wash these and keep them nice because that's the only thing stopping me from getting one I just finished at Sephora, so I'm completely done on getting the little gifts for myself. Alright, I just finished eating, and now I'm actually going to assemble like my little Valentine's Day gift pack, and yeah, I'm gonna surprise myself with it.
Valentine's Day back to myself and it's actually, it is so cute. Like this is like the best thing I've done for myself like all Valentine's Day. Like I really like it. Um, In case you didn't see what I got, I got two of like these Lindor truffle chocolates. I love these chocolates, they're so good. Big pack of Kit Kat, like a Valentine's Day themed Kit Kat. Avocado socks from H&M. Valentine's Day card, and I wrote something sweet in there for myself. Got myself some primer. So this is actually really cute. Like I 100% would recommend doing this. So I'm back home, it is now the end of the day. So one of the most common things I read that people do on Valentine's Day, alone or not, is just stay home, watch movies, and pamper yourself. And I, so I've experienced like all realms of Valentine's Day. I have had years where I have done absolutely nothing, and I had years where I, you know, went out and showed out and had a grand old time. I feel like when you're younger. Valentine's Day was so much more innocent because when I was younger in grade school during Valentine's Day the whole class would be your Valentine and then you know when you get to high school taking Valentine's Day a little bit more seriously than you would before I don't know if any of you guys did this in your high school but we had like candy grams or Valentine's Day grams so you would basically buy one for a dollar and write a cute little message to the person that you want to send it to and it would get uh, delivered on Valentine's Day to the person you send it to. Looking back in high school, I never really got one. I don't, I know, I got one from one of my friends, like the friend group I was in. Sometimes you would send some stuff to each other. And that was cute. So I always saw Valentine's Day as just something innocent and in between friends. I never really spent Valentine's Day, you know, going in and getting gifts for like a significant other until I got to college. About three years ago, the best Valentine's Day gift I've ever gotten was I got this really big bear and I got these shoes and I think like these flowers and I was so happy like that was the biggest gift I've ever gotten on Valentine's Day. How I felt about Valentine's Day three years ago versus to now is like the complete 180 because back when I did have someone to you know, share Valentine's Day with and buy gifts for. It's something that you look forward to. But then when things change and you don't have someone to do that to, it's almost like you kind of dread it. But I don't want to dread things like Valentine's Day because even though it's a very cute holiday, Valentine's Day isn't everything. I feel like as time goes by, I'm just starting to realize more of the importance of self-care and self-love most importantly. That's why it was super important that this year I don't just sit around and be upset over why I'm not doing anything for Valentine's Day, why I don't have anyone to spend it with, why I'm not going anywhere because when you like really like look into things and put things into perspective Valentine's Day is great, but it really just is Another day. It is a beautiful day that people express their love for each other But it's just a day. It's not the end of the world. This is for anyone Who maybe this is your 30th time to a Valentine's Day alone your first time second time whatever sleep in Make yourself that nice big breakfast, go for that long walk in the park, buy that piece of clothing, the piece of jewelry that you've been putting off for so long, get yourself your favorite meal, come back home, eat some chocolate, relax and watch movies, and just have a self-love me day.
and that is what valentine's day is all about all right guys so i just took my sheet mask off and it felt amazing it made my skin feel and look so much more moisturized so now i'm just chilling on my couch with my bag of Kit Kat that I got earlier. And I'm just gonna snack on these while I find something to watch on Netflix. So it's getting pretty late and I do have class tomorrow. So that is the end of the video. I hope anyone can take inspiration from this to try any of the activities and enjoy a Valentine's Day despite the circumstances. I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun filming this and I hopefully you had a lot of fun watching this. And also I noticed I gained a lot of new subscribers. So I also just wanna thank you guys so much for that, like for supporting my channel, coming back, watching my videos, sharing my videos. I just want to let you guys know that is not going unnoticed. I deeply, deeply appreciate it. My total vlog video hit over a thousand views and I would have never, ever thought like any of my videos would even reach that many views so thank you guys so much like it means so much to me keep liking sharing my videos supporting my channel i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one bye